Hi there, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. I am just your average, like very average mother of three <laughs> from Idaho. And um, yeah, I just have a borderline unhealthy obsession with finding the fastest and easiest way to do things. And so that that is all the way down to meal planning and grocery shopping. So today I'm gonna show you how I meal plan and shop for my family of five on a fairly tight budget. And just to give you an idea, it is December 4th. I have not been actually like grocery shopping, grocery shopping <laughs> since um, several days before Thanksgiving. So we're definitely ready for a lot of fresh produce. That's mostly what I need. <laughs> Let's go see what we can make this week. Like most people who meal plan, the first thing I do is take stock of what I already have in the house. So um, I have a side-by-side -side fridge and what works for us is that I only keep the protein that we're gonna be using and anything that's open, I keep in this freezer. And then everything else goes outside. We have an upright freezer in our garage. So that way we keep track of the food we have and things don't get lost and freezer burn, you know? So I usually buy meat in bulk and then freeze it so that it lasts for the month. And it's cheaper that way if you buy a big tube of ground beef and then break it up and freeze it um, rather than buying ground beef every week. So let's see what we have in the freezer. So down here is where I keep our protein. It looks like we have some meatballs that I wanna use up soon. So that's only 20 meatballs. So that's good for a soup or a pasta. And then this amount is good for subs. And I do have a package of sub bread in the freezer as well. Then I have some raw chicken pieces. And this is cooked and shredded chicken. I wanna use that up soon and then more ground beef. So we are good for protein, like we're good. Um, this is not actually Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> the freezer got left open, so we had to cook a second turkey. <laughs> so we're kind of over it, but I'm gonna do something with this turkey and gravy left over at some point in the next day or two. Okay, so I use plan to eat and all you do is drag and drop. I've already done that. Um, I've dragged and dropped the dinners I already know how much bread and yogurts and things we go through on a weekly basis for breakfast and lunch. So I don't, I don't put anything in there, but you totally can. You can create your own breakfast like week with your different meals and it will have, it will auto populate on your list. So here's what you do. Once you've done that, you click shop and it merges all the ingredients for you. And then you can print the list and go. So, you know, it groups, your onions together, you know, to let you know, oh, the measurements are different. The units of measurement are different, but it's the same ingredient. So it just gives you an idea. And then it has a recipe key. And so like, if you see an ingredient and you're like, why do I need cabbage? <laughs> do I really need cabbage? You know, cause sometimes on recipes they're optional or you don't typically use that. And so anyway, it's just a really, really awesome, awesome app. And so I'm gonna print my list off and then add a few things to it and then we are headed to the store. Okay, before we go in, um, I am cutting out a couple of coupons because yes, I do use coupons. I use Ibotta, I use Fetch, um, <laughs> just to try and keep the grocery bill down. Um, so I have a couple of coupons that I printed off really quickly. And I am at Winco. So if you don't know what Winco is, um, it is an employee owned grocery store 
and to keep costs down, like you bag your own groceries and they don't do a weekly circular. So they have awesome deals, but you never really know what they are. <laughs> so I always come here first because I, I can easily check on my app to see what, what current prices are at Walmart. And so I come here first and then I go to our small, smaller grocery store, Albertsons, because they have really, really awesome loss leaders. Then after I do all of that, if there's still stuff that I need, we will go to, um, we'll go to Walmart. But I cross my fingers, my list is not very long and Winco usually delivers for me. So, <laughs> but sometimes their produce just doesn't look awesome. So I go to Walmart instead. All right. And we're off. Um, so yes, today we have parrot buckled up. Last time it was a uh, turtle, I think. Yeah. Um, so Winco's finished, went a touch over, well, not over budget. So basically what I do is I, I shoot for about $50 in consumed groceries per week. Um, that seems low to a lot of people, but I shop a lot of sales. And so what happens after that is I do, I give myself $20 a week for pantry items or to stock up on items when they're on sale. So like, for example, when I walked into Winco, they had chicken breasts for 98 cents a pound. And I thought, I really don't need chicken, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that um, with my so part of my $20 and put um, cook it, shred it, put it in the freezer, or I might just put it in the freezer as is. Um, anyway, so that's how I do it. And then I also spent about $4 to get some boxed cake mix is for some Christmas goodies. So, you know, overall I spent $57 at Winco, but I have everything we need for groceries this week. Um, I just need some bread and milk, which were lost leaders at Albertsons and we'll be all set. So I'm, I think I stayed pretty well on track. And then the other budget item is that I set aside about $40 a week to do a Costco run once a month. And that's really about half of what we used to spend at Costco. <laughs> so we've, we've kind of tightened the purse strings just because we have a lot, you know, a lot of financial goals. We have quite a bit of debt right now. So we're just trying to rein it in. And I promise my kids eat well on that amount. And that also includes, we do one night a week of pizza. So that's not included in our food budget. So, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not one of those, let's do it. I probably will do an extreme challenge, but my monthly budget is what it is. I go over a lot of the time, but that's what we shoot for. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you an idea. It's not hard and fast, which is probably why we're in debt. Cause I don't stick to the budget sometimes, <laughs> but Mom, anyway, such is life. All right. So starting over here from Winco, um, I got some dry beans. I have not been able to find these anywhere. So I almost bought more than one, but we'll just, we are using this for red beans and rice this week. Um, I needed a ton of chicken broth. And so I decided to just try this. I haven't tried this in a long time, so we'll give that a go. And then sometimes you just grab things because you know you use them and you can't remember seeing them in the pantry. <laughs> That's what these are. And then refried greens for taco night. This chicken was only 98 cents a pound. So I, I didn't need chicken, but this is how we're able to have a tight budget every week is because I do earmark a little bit of money for buying things when they are rock bottom. And so I'm going to make, um, I'm either just going to throw it in the freezer or I'm going to cook it and shred it and then freeze it. I haven't decided. Capri Suns, I use these as ice packs. Um, my kids can't take, they can't take lunch boxes to school. And so I freeze these guys and they use them as little ice packs in their lunch sacks. I usually prefer the 
water one, the Roaring Water, but they didn't have that at Winco. So, and then just some pasta sauce, again, just to have it in the cupboard. Um, I have those meatballs and we might just whip up a quick spaghetti meatballs one night if I don't make what I actually planned. <laughs> um, ranch dressing, we've got, these are for a recipe. I only use the noodles out of those, not the packets. Um, these are to set aside for Christmas cookies. We make a couple of different cookies that use devil foods, devil's food mix. And then I had a, um, a really cheap, I got it with Ibotta um, rebates, but the ready-made cheesecake filling. So I got that to go with that. This was only 88 cents. And then chips to have in the house. Um, same thing because we can't take lunch boxes to school and I like to cut down on like Ziplocs mm -hmm. that we use. I like getting these little fresh packs because it's the perfect size to put in his lunch box. I know they're still individually wrapped, but I don't know. <laughs> I just figure it's cheaper than continuing to buy um, lunch sacks, even though it's still wasteful. It, I can't wait till they can have lunch boxes again at school. Okay, then moving down here, these are the best if you have never had these. Um, it's only 60 calories per turkey stick, 90 calories for cheese stick. I love these. They are my splurge. <laughs> the kids usually eat the cheese sticks and then I eat the turkey sticks. Um, this is for a recipe, the crescent rolls, butter, we were just running low. And then uh, we have one person in our family that needs a lactose free milk and yogurt. I always buy just the big jugs of yogurt because they're cheaper than the cups and less plastic. I think we're gonna try bagels and cream cheese for some lunches this week, this coming week. Um, red onion, cabbage, these are specifically for recipes. Broccoli, we like to just have that. A bag of apples for the week. Some celery. I already have some other celery in the fridge, so this is just more. Same thing with the cucumbers. I already had some, so just adding to it. Green pepper for a recipe and then all the onions. So that was from Winco, and total for this one was 50, I think $7. There was a little thing that I bought for Ladybug too that was on there, so for her lunch. Then for Albertsons, I just went and got the rock bottom deals from there. So their bread was 89 cents. I got some of that. This Farmer's Reserve Butter, it's the equivalent of two sticks, and it's on sale right now. Plus, I bought it has a rebate, and then they also had a coupon, a digital coupon today. So this two sticks of butter was fifty cents. So that's pretty cool. Um, their salads and spinach were only a dollar, so I got four of those. This was kind of an impulse buy, I guess. There was a coupon, <laughs> ninety nine cents for that. Um, their milk was only one sixty nine for the gallon, so I got a gallon, and then. These guys were 99 cents each, but I also had a dollar off two. So these were 49 cents each. So that's how, again, how we're able to eat a little more cheaply during the week because I have a whole stockpile of breakfast items that we get when they are rock bottom. And then I'm missing a Diet Pepsi. It must be out in the car. So I got three of Diet Pepsi and three Mountain Dew. These were only $1.99, so I wanted to stock up on those. So I did end up going over budget. Um, let's see, I spent $25 at Albertsons and 57, so yeah, 82. But I'm gonna count the pop as what put us over the edge. <laughs> I've learned that when I have pop at home, I don't go to the service station and spend a dollar a day. So it is cheaper for me to get it at the store and just have it. So I went over budget, you know, it's not earth shattering, but it's, I, I try to keep it kind of low. Plus I already bought a bunch of um, bananas and lunch things for this coming week at the outlet store as well. So there you have it, grocery haul. Um, I have something planned for my next grocery haul, but for today, my brain is fried. I lost my phone. I left it in the shopping cart. Albertsons has those cute little um, like cup holder and then the little rack. And I was like, oh, nice. I'll just put my phone right here. It was totally in the cart return, sitting in the cart. Luckily, no one took it because what happened was, was I forgot 
the salads. So we went out to the car, loaded up all the groceries, and then we ran back into the store. So that phone was sitting there during my second little run into the store. Then I came back, got in the car, started driving off, and my car had picked up the phone and was playing my music, and then it was getting really staticky. And I'm like, well, what's wrong with the radio? It didn't even dawn on me. And then Ladybug, I don't know what I'm gonna do when she goes to kindergarten. She goes, mom, I think your phone is in the cart. Okay, so then we had to like turn around and it's the store isn't in the most convenient place So it was traffic wise and it was a mess But I made it and then um, Yeah, some other stuff is going on. I got an email and I'm just like all flustered So that's gonna be it for today. I was gonna cook something for you um, I it's a fun thing that we're, we'll do next time. So for today That's what we do that's how I shop on a budget and I will start filming my, our dinners so that you can kind of see what we eat on this kind of budget. Remember, I'm posting a video every day for Vlogmas 2020, so be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to keep following along with our holiday shenanigans and I will see you tomorrow.